What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and wow what a day what a day. Thank you to the new subscribers who came with that last video uh, about the uh, website. I think I found that first. It was amazing. I just kind of stumbled upon that that uh, remember the 13th.com and since I think I was the first person to get that out I got a whole bunch of hits, a whole bunch of new subscribers. Much love to you guys. We do a lot of fun stuff here. I think it's fun. You know it's my channel here and that then uh, you know I do a lot of uh, anomaly videos and stuff like that where I I say I see what I see you see what you see but uh, right now I'll do a little bit of news here it looks like the, the Curiosity rover and the Opportunity rover and our Mars let's see the ESA has their Mars Express up there um, let's see we have all sorts of missions still running on Mars right now that are picking satellites and the government shutdown is not going to halt the Mars Maven launch They've got an exception for it, apparently. The next Mars mission will launch as planned, despite the government shutdown, according to the mission director. The Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution, MAVEN, mission has been in the works for 10 years. It's set to launch on November 18th. That date seemed threatened by the government shutdown. On Thursday, Bruce Joksky, the mission's lead investigator, received word that the mission would move forward as planned. NASA has analyzed the MAVEN mission relative to the Anti-Deficiency Act and determined that it meets requirements, allowing an emergency exception he told CBS News in an email. If Maven didn't launch by December 16th, the team would have to wait till uh, wow, 2016, the next time Mars and Earth would be properly aligned. So apparently this thing, uh, this is going to be pretty neat. It's going to join, uh, basically it's going to join, oh cool here, it was deemed necessary because it helped help relay information between Earth and the Curiosity and Opportunity rovers, which is cool. So supposed to, we're supposed to get a lot more information faster with this going up there as part of its plan, um, which are currently exploring the surface of Mars right now. The rovers are supported by two older satellites, the M Mars Odyssey and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Two awesome satellites, by the way, who have sent us back a lot of good pictures. Um, so anyway, the Maven. I got it. I'm gonna go ahead. And I'll link this uh, fact sheet here about it. It talks a little bit about the the actual plan for it. This won't be taking pictures. It's gonna be doing a study of the upper atmosphere. It's gonna look at all sorts of stuff. So we're trying to really find out about the uh, ionosphere, the suns, how the radiation and how the uh, solar wind affects the planet and things like that. Um, it's really gonna be and and to do the stuff like the communications between the rover and they don't talk about that in here but almost every satellite has a lot of different you know a lot of different things that they do a lot of different processes that they do but um, I'll go ahead and I'll forward that to you and also our buddies over in India will be joining us on the Mars mission they're gonna be putting up their own spacecraft the Mars Orbiter mission spacecraft um, it's going to set to go up, let's see here, India's Mars Orbiter Mission MOM spacecraft was shipped out of the city on Thursday for the October 28th launch from Siharakota Spaceport, setting the stage for final preparations for the Odyssey to the Red Planet. So, uh, sorry, I'm sure I said that wrong. Um, it was put in a special container where we had the monitoring of the environment and size. So basically this thing's going to be heading up. A lot of other people have tried to do it. Uh, like I said, the European Space Agency has that Mars Express, which rocks, and a couple other up there. But it's a tough thing to get something into the Martian orbit. We've tried it a bunch of times. A lot of other people have tried to get rovers there and, and have failed, you know. So it'd be interesting to see how that goes along and how it goes if uh, when they do you know launch this and how long it'll take to get there and all that good stuff but they're going to be taking a lot of pictures they're going to be looking for signs of life old life prior life so maybe some of this information won't be uh you know subjected to some of the scrutiny that it is here on you know in the united states due to our old past like things like the brookings reports and our old way of thinking that affects today's policies and and today's you know what gets shared with the general public but Anyway, I thought you guys would find that interesting. Once again, this new uh, this website. I'm going to do another video tomorrow to let you guys know whatever comes out of this. They've changed the date from this Remember the 13th video now to October 6th. So, once again, thank you guys, new subscribers. You all rock. I hope you enjoy the channel. whole bunch to see. Check out my old videos. If you go check my website out if you want, there's all sorts of videos on there. Also, some other people's videos that do Mars, Moon stuff, great UFO stuff. Um, I take pictures from people. If you've been saving Mars anomalies and you don't make videos and you want to get that in the hands of somebody who'll make a video on it send it to me my email is will at willferrar.net and uh, much love to you guys i'll be looking forward to talking to you guys please comment below what do you think you think india is going to make it you think that their uh, spacecraft's going to end up in the middle of nowhere uh, just kind of drifting off into uh, infinity all right much love guys what's up in the sky 37 this is will saying have a wonderful night